Jessica Clark and I teach social entrepreneurship, communications, and during the first semesters, I teach writing. What does experiential learning Oh, and here we go. I can say this. It is not what you thought it was when you enrolled in this school, mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Because I think people think that experiential learning is, I'm gonna be around building pyramids and digging ditches. And in my experience, it's more about, I go around talking to people that have studied the thing for 25 years, mm -hmm and that live in the community and know the thing and then they share it with people with a lot of passion and then you go and process it with the help of other people. So, and you're there and you're doing it, mm -hmm. but it's not just running around, it's really finding the right person with the right knowledge exactly in their context. How has the experiential learning model affected your teaching style? It affected it so much because I really like the sound of my voice. <laughs> and I just have so much to say and I just want to share it with everyone but apparently my students have opinions of their own <laughs> that, and you guys come and like with interests and ideas and then you go on field trips and talk to people and then you come, and you come back and you know stuff mm -hmm. and I've had to learn how to just stand aside and let people also share and let people also build the class around the, their own experiences because they have experiences mm -hmm. I used to always be the one person that knew what was going on and the one person that had been out there. In class now, I am talking to a bunch of people who really know, who already have an experience and that they, and they know how to compare it. So for me, it's just amazing to just stand back and just be, have my mind blown by what other people have done. How do you incorporate experiential learning in your classes? Hmm. Good question because um, I get the students in the first year. Mm -hmm and the, the students don't speak Spanish. So I cannot just like send them out into the world. What I do is, even if we're just thinking about writing, what I do is try to incorporate that into the country where we're at. Mm -hmm. So what is going on in Costa Rica? What have you seen that surprises you or amazes you? So we talk a lot about what is going, what people notice around. For other classes, it's easier because when you're teaching communications or social entrepreneurship, you're actually creating projects. Mm -hmm. But what I have them do is always the project has to be related to the context. It's either the country where we're at or what is going on in the world. How do you see your students responding to experiential learning? Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just amazing. It doesn't show like in one semester, but mm -hmm. even from the beginning of the, the, the first year to the end of the year, I don't know if you see it in yourselves and traveling changes you. Mm -hmm. And so you can feel the mileage. It's just awesome one of the most beautiful things.